Hello everyone, welcome back to next Selenium tutorial. Today we are going to see two different XPath access, descendant and descendant or self. So descendant XPath access selects all the descendants that is whatever comes under that the direct children and its grandchildren to the current node or context node. The relationship that context node has direct children and grandchildren everything comes as descendant right so the syntax will be very simple so this is the basic one so you can use double forward slash tag name within square bracket you can use your attribute name or you can use any xpath methods like contains text anything and then single forward slash or double forward slash you can use it and the xpath access name descendant and then double colon tag name this is very basic syntax for xpath access descendant next one descendant or self the definition is pretty much similar to descendant but descendant or self will select context node also one particular node will be get added and the syntax also pretty much similar to your descendant that is only the xpath access name will change to descendant or self right let's take this as zoho.com so over here i want to type something on this create password using our xpath access right let's inspect this and uh, understand uh, what is uh, a descendant and descendant or self just find it so this is the uh, input tag where it has it parent and its parent so it's a uh, ancestors right let's take this particular web element and then based on this particular element let's find out this input tag right it's a div element so under that we have to use at the rate to use attributes just a single quotes right now it has selected the context node this is the context node so i want to see how many descendant are there under this particular web element so whatever comes under this particular element see it has only one direct children right and if we expand all our grandchildren we expand this just one more one more grandchildren are there this also grandchildren so these are all descendants but if you go beyond this these are all not comes under its descendant so what are comes under this particular web element that is called descendant right let's select how many are there descendant export access name and double colon we have to to find out how many descendants are there just put asterisk it will list on how many are there it has eight right so this is the first one and second third fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth so under this there is no element so that's why it is not expanded so all other elements direct children and its children that is grandchildren everything comes under your descendant right so i want to select this particular uh, input and i want to type in that just input right so for this particular web element descendant is this input right so without giving any tag name or any sorry attribute name or display text we have selected this particular one this is where xpath access comes into play right so this is the first one so descendant or self how it comes right so just one more element will be added so now for this particular web element we had only eight descendant right if you use descendant or self this particular context node also comes under the descendant or self right the, it's a self explanatory right or self double colon if you want to list on how many elements are there just put asterisk you can see it is selected context node as a first element you can see one more added earlier for descendant only eight now it is nine right i want to select input so this also selects the same right let's try running this um, and type something demo script in that so just find element we are going to use x path so under this this is the element and i want to type so to type we have to use send keys method so what is the send keys method i want to type a uh, demo script that's all right so this is the complete uh, xpath and let's try running it open and uh, maximize the browser 
and it has to type demo script inside the create password input text box right type you can see demo script whatever we have given it has typed right so this is the descendant ourselves so it removes ourselves this also works fine there won't be any difference just run it so again it has to do the same job right so type in the create password uh, input text as demo script that's all so it's very easy to use it this is a very basic syntax that we can use descend or not descend or self right so that's all from this video guys if you love watching my video please like the video and if you have any doubts or you want any clarifications please please leave it in the comment section and thanks for watching guys